Tonight, we're focused on evictions and where all that federal rental assistance money is going. But to start our in-depth coverage for you, let's put in perspective just how many Coloradans are at risk of eviction. Now, per the latest census data in August, more than 30,000 people were at least somewhat likely to be evicted in the next two months. But new numbers released today by the Colorado Department uh, Apartment Association shows that only 2,498 eviction actions were filed across the state in September. And that is only 66% of the September 2019 levels. Now at an apartment complex in Parker, at least 55 tenants received notices to make past due payments or be kicked out in 10 days. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez shares their stories. For Caitlin and Jesse Hall, who work full-time jobs and have young children, the notice they received on their door Monday evening was shocking, to say the least. You shall, within 10 days after this demand is served upon you, either pay to the undersigned the total due at the time you pay, plus any additional late fees due or move out and surrender possession of the premises. Hey, or be evicted. For the Hall family, the total due in back rent is more than $7,000 for their apartment at the Copper Step Apartments in Parker. They say this is the first notice they ever received from the complex. Where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do? We also spoke with another resident by phone who did not want to go on camera. They also say this was the first notice they received. Back in April, they applied for the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, or ERA, after they both lost their jobs. We got jobs again and started working, started paying our rent again, and then we were just waiting for this processing for this back rent that's due for these past few, the past few months. But time is of the essence. With just several days left until eviction, they feel they're running out of options. And I'm not saying I don't, I'm not going to pay it, but I don't have it all up front. Denver 7 reached out to management at Copper Step several times, but they chose not to comment. As for the Douglas County Housing Authority, which works with many people who live in this complex, they could not be reached and are at a statewide housing conference until Monday. I have two small kids. They're in elementary school. They don't understand what's going on. Douglas County officials tell Denver 7 for people who received an eviction notice and have not applied for ERA to quickly do so because there's still money available. For those that have, assistance is still available for up to $6,000. After that, it's up to a county committee to decide if a family is eligible for more. Ten Days is not a lot of time. <laughs> Once Denver 7 began questioning that short notice, both the apartment management and the Dugco Housing Authority began reaching out to the tenants, assuring them that they would work with them to help avoid any evictions. We'll reach back out as soon as that deadline approaches. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. Some of the rules on evictions in Colorado have changed. What you need to know most is 10 days. That's right. A landlord can file for eviction 10 days after a notice for non-payment of rent. Now, once an eviction is issued by a judge, renters have 10 days to vacate the property. Previously, that time period was just 48 hours. But the news isn't all bad. Coloradans are getting a break on paying their rent thanks to a new law that went into effect on October 1st. Renters now have seven days to pay their rent before they're hit with a late fee. Those fees are now capped at $50 or just 5% of the rent. People facing eviction also have up to their until their court date to catch up on rent. Now, there are also millions of dollars from the federal government up for grabs in our state. You just have to know how to apply it. Here's Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo. The pandemic shook the housing industry. To prevent evictions, the state and federal government poured hundreds of millions of dollars into an emergency rental assistance program offering to pay up to 15 months so like in said, free rent. The way that the program works, though. Bill I Bevins, a property manager and the owner of Terra Village Apartments, estimates at one point about 120 tenants were behind on rent. Anywhere from three to five thousand dollars through the rental assistance program. He's recovered four hundred and fifteen thousand dollars just this year. In 2021, the state distributed one hundred and fifty one million dollars in rental assistance. Uh, one hundred and sixty nine million is left. Um, that needs to be spent by September 2022. Allison George, the director of housing with the Colorado Department of Local Affairs, says Many people don't know about the tens of millions of dollars available. Please do apply for emergency rental assistance uh, because the funds are available and we want to continue to help people stay stably housed in Colorado. The two part application requires the tenant and the landlord to work together. It's, it's pretty confusing for the tenants, but all the necessary documents to apply are laid out online. We would help them fill out the paperwork. We're not asking them to fill it out alone. Bill says the biggest problem 
is getting residents to respond. Not giving us any information. We put notices on their door. We try to call them. We try to email them and they don't respond. He recently evicted several with an estimated $100,000 in back rent. If they haven't applied, I don't get anything. Once again, the message to those behind on rent due to COVID, apply now before an eviction notice arrives. The money's there. For most, they just have to ask for it. Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. And we know the process to apply for rental assistance can be intimidating. We are trying to make it a little easier for you. We have the story posted on the DenverChannel.com with several resources to make it easier for you to get assistance.